It was still a celebration inside the Blue Jays clubhouse this morning, but it wasn't because of Stephen Brunt's birthday. <laughs> That'll come a little later tonight I hope so. here in Florida. But, Steve, some of the, Dom the Dominican guys left behind were watching the coverage yet again and really enjoying that. What a moment, first of all, for Dominican baseball that was capturing the WBC. It, you know, it was fantastic, and I know it, it's probably hard for people to process what it would mean in the Dominican if you're a Canadian watching that, an American watching that, but you couldn't help but pick up the emotion yeah. uh, of that game, the emotion when they beat the Americans, the emotion especially when they finally beat, beat Puerto Rico for the fourth time in the tournament, run the table in the tournament undefeated. There's no place on earth where winning the WBC would mean more than it means in the Dominican Republic. It's the most baseball country on earth. There, it is the, it's the only sport that matters. It is absolutely fundamental to identity in the Dominican. Yeah. You know, baseball is big in the States. It's big in Japan. It's big in Korea. It's big in Canada. But in the Dominican, it's everything. And so for them to beat the world, and I, mean, I know about all the asterisks next to that tournament. We can forget it. But not they just won. the world. Steve, they beat Puerto Rico. I mean, Esmo Rogers told me yesterday, there's no other country we'd want to play in the championship game than their neighboring nation that's only a 30-minute flight away. Well, I think the two big ones, right. They, they, Puerto Rico is right there. They are the big rival, especially the big baseball rival. They're the big geographic rival. And before that, beating the Americans. Oh, yeah. You know, they have a, the Dominican Republic has an interesting history with the United States. States have been invaded twice by them, uh, you know, not that long ago, 1965. So it's not ancient history. They have kind of a Canadian relationship with the U.S. The same kind of relationship we have that push pull thing where we love them sometimes, we hate them other times. So for them to beat the Americans and then beat their geographic rivals, they say for fourth time in one tournament, it's pretty much perfect. What Emilio Bonifacio said yesterday: I don't care if we're playing them in basketball, in soccer, in baseball. I just want to beat them. Now, how about the guys coming back? This has got to be some kind of emotional letdown. You're Jose Reyes, you're Edwin Encarnacion. I mean, you are relishing that last night, Steve. And now you've got to come back to Dunedin and realize there's 162 games left to play? Yeah, I think it's going to be. It's, it's, you know, normally the baseball season is a kind of a slow build from uh, pitchers and catchers report to the World Series, if, yeah. you get, if you're lucky enough to play that long. And the emotional peak is at the end, in the pennant race, in the postseason, in the series. But for these guys, you know, early on, they have this huge emotional uptick. And you saw it there. You know, again, you saw the passion on the field. And then you come back here where you know, it's not a crazy emotional place, spring training. At so all. It's supposed <laughs> to be the opposite. Uh, the games, they, so they keep score, but that's about it. And then you have this you know, opening day. Uh, I, I think it's going to be tricky for those guys. You, know, you hope that they bring some of that positive here. It, it was exciting watching them play in that context. You know, I think if you're a Blue Jay fan, you're kind of – fantasizing saying i know what it looks like now to see jose reyes and edwin hold up the exactly hold yeah. up the trophy uh but i think naturally there's going to be a little bit of a little bit of a dip here i think when they arrive here tomorrow you know as campeones you know it's that's going to be that's going to be great but then the next day and the next day uh, you know I, I think when they when they're going to sleep at night i think they're gonna be thinking about the wbc yeah and understandably so 13 days away from opening day let's get to the task in hand they're keeping score by the way in sarasota today that's where jeremy jeffress is going to throw the first three innings for the blue jays here's a guy a former first round pick who who comes in with a lot of baggage a lot of potential a lot of opportunity here steve he's out of options i was wrong on jeff blair's show by the way on that one yesterday so now the Blue Jays have to make a decision. What do they do with the former Kansas City Royals pitcher? Boy, I think it's still a little bit of wait and see, and I think it's, they'll, they'll be watching that those three innings very, very carefully. You can't help but think that they they, they want to keep this guy. Yeah, they, they are incredibly tempted by him. You know, he hit 101 on the gun the other day, and I know it's not all about velocity, it's not all about the gun, but if you've got a guy, <laughs> but who's the gun is 98, 99, 100, 101. You know that helps. Uh, Everybody understands, you know, he went to, he was in Kansas City, highly touted in Kansas City, had off field issues, um, had on field issues in terms of control. But there's that, that thing lurking in the back of everyone's head here. John Gibbons, Alex Anthopoulos, pitching coaches, everybody saying, what if this is the year the guy figures it out? Yep. And what if we're the ones that benefit from it? They're intrigued. They are very intrigued. And I would think right now the chances are better than worse that, that he's going to be on the opening day roster. Now, if he blows up between now and the end of camp, we have a different conversation, but I think they want to keep him. Very interesting start coming up as a result in these first three innings. Loop, Delabar, and McGowan throwing a minor league game, but all eyes are going to be on Ricky Romero tomorrow, who's throwing five innings of a minor league game over at the Matic Complex here in Dunedin, and we will be there right here, Steve, on sportsnet.ca.